What's up guys, Specstar here today with another installation of Specscriber Saturday. I'm, I've got sets submitted by you guys, as I always do, and I'm going to hit the ladder with them. And for those of you who don't know, if there's a set you guys want to see in the next episode, I need you to comment down below with the Pokemon you want to see, any particulars you want to see on its set, and if there's any nickname you want to give it, just comment that. If you don't give a specific nickname, I'll just nickname the Pokemon after you, and that'll be it. So I've got seven sets today, so I'm going to have to divide the Pokemon, and my dog's going into my bags of KFC, and he's not supposed to do that. I've got seven Pokemon, so I'm not going to have all of them on in every live, but I'm going to make sure every Pokemon is not... Uh, not left out of more than one tier, so some Pokemon will be left out of one particular tier, but they'll be in every other tier, so just to make sure everything gets involved. And the one we're going to start out with is a Tapu Koko that's physically defensive, submitted by Soap. And this is something I like. Since one of them commented Tapu Koko, and then another came in with the Hawlucha. And this Hawlucha, there's no way it's not going to put in work. We got the Electric Seeds Hawlucha with Sword Stance, Drain Bunch, Acrobatics, and High Jump Kick. And ooh, I like it. I I can claim some souls on the OE ladder with this Hawlucha alone. Without even anything else. And then we got Mike, who's submitting a Giraffe Rig, Life Orb, Nasty Plot, Substitute, Hyper Voice, Psy Shock. I guess you would call it a stall breaker, one of the OU meta's finest. And then we've got Stan, who's submitting a... Oh, did I mention uh, that the Hawlucha was submitted by Stu? I don't want to leave that out. And then we've got this Blacephalon, which was submitted by Stan. And it's Banded, Boom, Flame Charge, Shadow Claw, and Trick. Which is, of course, the good Blacephalon set. And then we've got the Kamala, submitted by Manny, of course. Manny finding more unconventional ways to set up and install. Got a specially defensive Kamala with Bulk Up and Wish. And then, submitted by Jonathan, we've got Thick Boy, the Quagsire, running an Assault Vest. Four attack, of course, very power-up punch. And then we've got one more set, which I can find in here, and it's a Spex Landorus submitted by Blag. It's got the Earth Power, the Sludge Wave, the Psychic, and the Focus Blast, but as the name says, not the Hidden Power Ice, because you guys love submitting me Pokemon that should have Hidden Power Ice without Hidden Power Ice. It's basically like a running joke at this point, <laughs> but... But whatever you guys want to see, I'll hit the ladder with. Even if it should have Hidden Power Ice and doesn't. So, oh, I'm on the wrong account again. What the hell am I doing? I made that mistake last time. Specscriber Live, this is the account I gotta be on. And let's hit the OU ladder now that we're on the right account. Searching for a game. Let's just see if we can find an opponent equal to the skill we have on our team. And the first thing we're going to notice is that their team is not nearly as good as our team. Our team is going to be much better. Uh, he's got the Hawlucha too, but mine probably has more speed than his does, because Hawlucha usually runs 100 and something speed, not max speed. I'm just going to lead off with Quagsire, because it basically is a good matchup against this whole team. We'll see Coco come out here, and he'll probably go to Gyarados, and I'm... I guess I should just throw off a Waterfall. He goes for Reflect. Okay, that's interesting. Uh, I'm just going to Earthquake now. He goes for U-Turn instead of setting up the light screen. That's interesting. He can go to Gyarados now. He goes into Excadrill. You ever seen someone go hard to Excadrill on a Quagsire? And I can just click the waterfall here. Quagsire putting in a little bit of work here. We see the Gyarados come out, and now I have... 
Well, normally I'd have to pray, but my Coco is physically <laughs> defensive, so we Gucci here. We're all Gucci. He's gonna Dragon Dance, but I think he needs Earthquake to knock us out. <laughs> yeah, the Waterfall is gonna do nothing, but we're doing nothing back. Uh, we we need to save this Coco. I'm gonna sack the Giraffe Rig, the Giraffe Rig, and then I'm gonna sack Coco here and then try to set up with Halucha. That's my plan here. And Halucha might be able to win here. Well, yeah, I think it depends on how if his Coco's like a bulky screen set or if it's like a max speed, max special attack set, but I think I might be able to win here with the Haluchador. Let me get up a Sword Sense and then I can Drain Punch some health back. That's going to do a ton, that Waterfall, because we do not have the investment in our... HP, and we see his Halucha, but we're max speed, so we should be faster than this, and we are. That's beautiful. I'm assuming he was just the standard set. We have more speed than the grand majority of, of Halucha, so... Damn. Coco survives, but it does not attack us. Instead, it just goes for the Reflect. I probably should have Drain Punch there, but... It doesn't really matter. Acrobatic should do a ton to Lele. And now he's got to position himself to win with his Volcarona. I'm just going to try and bank on this thing being faster than Vol than Lele, I mean. And I should just throw off a Shadow Claw, and we are faster. That's great. We should... Put Volk in range of Quagsire and hopefully does not have the Giga Train. Oh, we get the crit and knock it out. I guess. I think we would have won it anyway, but. <laughs> we'll take those. I mean, we're using a team of the Draft Rig against a standard ass team, so we'll take those. Take them gladly. Speaking of Giraffe Rig, this guy has no Giraffe Rig counter at all, so I can just lead off with it, and let's get my Plotums up. You guys are Trick Room, so I'm going to sub here. We'll probably see him going to Frothorn, I would think. He doesn't have Volcanion. If Volcanion survives this, then Giraffe Rig is the worst Pokemon of all time. That's just, I'm going to get that on the record. So it does get the KO. That means Whims the Cot remains the worst Pokemon of all time, not Giraffe Rick. That's good. It was not this. Uh, I'm going to go into Quagsire, and then I'm going to go hard into Blacephalon, and that's because if I went hard into Blacephalon, he probably would have won for knockoff. I can go for Flame Charge here. I'm just going to go for Protect. I'm going to go hard into the Kamala now. I'm imagining he would try to go into Rotom. And he does. So we predict that immaculately. Time to get my bulk up. Is that Spex Rotom? In 2017? Or 2018? Wow. We should be able to stall this thing out, though, so should be fine. And he can't paralyze us, so we should be very good here. Unless he crits us, which I may have just spoken into life. But overall, I should be good. I want to get another bulk up so Heracross can't one-shot us. I am going to be able to beat this Rotom. Eventually, I'm going to knock it off, and then I'm going to greatly reduce its damage output. So we see him going to Mew here, and that's an interesting move. I'm going to start getting my bulk up. Yeah, he goes for Trick Room, and he's just letting me get my bulk. I might be able to get to the point where I can... Ah, he gets a crit. That sucks. I'm wondering how much his Heracross does. I'm just going to protect even if he goes to Sword Sands because I want to stall out this Trick Room. 
He goes for Bullet Seed, which is curious. The way he's playing, I would think he probably doesn't have the Sword Stance. And clearly he doesn't have Pin Missile either, or else why wouldn't he not go for it? Yeah, he's playing really weird. I don't know what this guy's doing, but... Oh well. Should be able to win with Lucha. And we get that nice chip on the Hera. That nice chip. And then I can go into Belcephalon and boom. And boom should cover any play he would make unless he goes hard Pharaoh for no apparent reason. Let's get that boom. Here comes the boom. Yeah, he goes into Rotom and we predict that immaculately. I would think he would go for Rothorn here. I want to go Quagsire. Okay, he goes into this. And that's going to knock us out, yeah. So we're going to go into our Coco here. Throw off a Thunderbolt. Just need our shot to go into Lucha for free. He misses his Rock Blast, and that may have hurt us more than it hurt him. So, I think I'm just going to go hard Halucha here. I wanted this thing to KO Coco, but it's not doing that. Actually, I don't even know if it's safe to go hard that here. But yeah. I'm going to start roosting up. I needed Coco to die, and then Lucha to get its free in that way. You know, I think this is my chance. This should be my chance to win here. Ideally, this thing doesn't have Toxic, but it probably should. Yeah, I think I have to Swords Dance here. He has Toxic, it's definitely going to get tricky. If I can get rid of that for Hawthorne, I should be able to win with Coco. It's even if this doesn't win. So if he uses his Iron Barbs as a way to make the Poison Compound on me, then he should... Then he leaves. Okay. I'm gonna start looking for another battle. And then after this, we're probably gonna move on to the next tier. And we face more standard stuff. How high on the ladder are we with this account? It doesn't even say. Oh, it does. Not high at all. This low on the ladder, you're facing nothing but standard, huh? Okay, um... I'm just going to leave Quagsire. Yep, he goes Coco. Predictable. I can power up Punch. Damage on Frothorn is huge. Even though I don't know if you're going to count that as damage. And get an attack boost. Now we can go for Earthquakes and try to get a little bit of chip on that. He goes for the knockoff over predicting. He didn't know that we got this tech going on. I need damage on Frothorn, so that's beautiful for us. Draft <laughs> Rig looked like a wind gone. It's not Landorus, so I'm just gonna Ice Punch now. Yeah, I, mean, yeah, I imagine he's gonna go back in Frothorn, but. I mean, he's not really gaining anything from this, so. I'm gonna Toxapex, so I'm gonna Power Up Punch freely. I still don't really know what SA over here is doing. Yeah, I really don't know what this guy's doing. I'm just going to go for an earthquake now. He goes for a haze. Now he's definitely in range of earthquake. And I'm going to click ice punch. If he sacks his pecs here, he's absolutely insane. Yeah, we do predict that Landers immaculately <laughs> into 37% to it. And now I'm going to click Power Up Punch because I'm never going to let Pex start healing up. 
he is really having a hard time dealing with this quagsire. That is ridiculous. Watch this. I'm going to earthquake first and on his protect. And now I'm going to hit that ice punch. Let's see if it works. Ah, oh, he goes into packs. If I earthquake, he's in a bad position there, but oh well. I'm going to go for another ice punch. We're trying to make those predicts. You gotta, you know, stun or die, my friend. Stun or die. That's the life I've chosen. Yeah, you shouldn't just go for a scald here. I assume that's what he'd do. <laughs> for Hawthorne, that's a really weird move. Okay. I'm just going to go for another Earthquake. I don't care if he goes to Lander. So really, at this point, I'm done trying to play around with his switches. Yeah, I'm just done with this at this point. I'm just clicking power up punch. Okay. And this is the kind of low ladder battles you have down here. So he doesn't his Lucha. We got about nothing for that. I can stall out his train with Kamala. I'm just going to go for a wish. If he goes for Hawthorne, I'll get to knock that thing off. Eventually, I need a little bit of chip on this, and I can win with Halucha. Well, also Pex, too, of course. I need Pex weakened a little bit. Yeah, the Volt Switch is not doing enough. Assuming going for Hawthorne here. Yeah, I'm going to knock that thing off, which is going to be nice for later. Is for Leech Seed. Good for him. I'm just going to go Harden and Blacephalon now. And I can throw off Shadow Claws on his whole team. I could have went into Giraffe Rig there. He doesn't bother predicting that. Uh, I don't know if I want to use up Lucha's item right now. Yeah, I will do it. And the sword stands here. See if I can force him into a KO situation. Pection. Well, Spit at Peck shouldn't be able to beat this, which is what they run now. Uh, I don't really know the calcs on that, though, so. Yeah. He's not really gaining anything here. Here I'm going to draft rig and set up a nasty plot. I could also just go for a sub, which is a little bit safer. Using our ninja, I'm going to be able to get off of a powerful uh, hyper voice on that. Never mind, he's protein. Which is a little bit weird, but all right. A little bit weird with his particular team, I should clarify. Now I'm just going to Kamala. This game is kind of lame. I'm going to find another OHU game. Before I move on to the next tier, <laughs> we're taking on a team that's literally heat. <laughs> a pretty good game for Quagsire, to say the least. I'm just going to lead off with Blacephalon. 
I assume Heatran's going to set up rocks. I can trick it. Zam goes for Psychic. Needs to land a Focus Blast to KO us. I can click Knock here pretty freely. Heatran locks into Earth Power. I can go into Halucha. I assume Landers is just gonna. Oh wow. That gives me a bulk up. He goes again for Earth Power, which was a mistake on his behalf. I wouldn't imagine he would go hard into Talon Flame, so I'm good to Sword Stance. I can Drain Punch because I'm not letting him go into Lure on a high jump kick. Getting my bulk ups on the Kamala. Yeah, I'm going to knock this thing off and then I'm going to end this non-game. That was one of the worst games of all time. Yeah, he goes in a lure, but that was super, super obvious. So, you know, I getting anything there. And I just get to go right into Kamala. I can start bulking up. See what he has as an initial to Kamala. He trans not beating us. Like, not at all. That's probably actually set up fodder for Kamala, so I'm just going to keep bulking up. He's in a little bit of a predicament here. Kamala's actually become a threat to him. Let's see what he does here. It is a bit of a tricky position. His counters to this, he locks himself in a stealth rock, so he is really putting himself in a position where he cannot deal with this Kamala. That was a bad play. He had to start dealing with this thing. He might just lose to this right now. There's the way he's handled it. I'm just going to keep bulking up. Incineroar does not make me stop. Does Darkest Lariat ignore Stapus? He's knockoff, so irrelevant, I guess. I'm gonna wish up and then I'm just gonna keep bulking because he's not doing any damage to us. Now I get a knockoff the Chandelure. It does get flame body, but it's always flash fire. So regardless. Any damage he does is just going to get healed back up by the Wish, and Knockoff should be able to knock him out pretty safely. This is how not to deal with a bulk of Kamala 101. Alright, oh, I was thinking about Flame Body, Comatose, duh. So, Chandelure down, and now he's got to figure out what his initial switch in is for this thing. He has a Charizard, and I'm just going to wish up. He shows to be Y, which is terrible. <laughs> yeah, uh, Gamala going down. Oh, well. Uh, I'm just going to sack Blacephalon here. No reason to let Gamala go down. And it, his team has no electric resist, so Coco should be able to win this. Although Coco is physically defensive, and is slower than his Charizard, so that's something. I don't, I'm not sure why he's not just clicking his move here. I'm going to put on the timer. Yeah, I have no clue what he has to think about here. He just has to click Fire Blast. It's a no-brainer. I might as well start doing 1v1 battles since this is taking so long. And I am not the patient type. Uh, let's let's go ahead and use this team first. We're As last time, we're going to go and do 1v1 until we win two games with each team. And it's looking like a matchup for Landorus. He's got a bunch of Landorus weak Pokemon. 
We could do Blucephalon on Blucephalon, but I just want to leave Landorus, and we should beat any variant of Kartana he could possibly have, unless he gets a Bloom Doom crit. Yep, we're going to knock that out, because Kartana's special defense is pathetic. Guess this guy finally clicks Fire Blast, and I just get to go into my Coco here and click Thunderbolt very freely. Hopefully he doesn't realize that he's faster than our Coco. No, he's not. He is a no-speed Charizard Y. You deserve that pair for being a no-speed Charizard Y. I do not care. He deserved that. He got what he deserved there. As we see that he is AVF on this Incineroar. We got a little bit of an AV on ourselves though, so we deal with you, sister. I could go for Waterfall or Earthquake. He is in the move that hits Talonflame and Charizard, the move that hits Volcanion. I'm just going to go for Earthquake here. Because I think he'd be more likely to go into Volcanion than one of his flying types. Also, nah. Well, he might just go into Zard because it's paralyzed. If it was Gen 5, our Quagsire would be faster than Charizard. Because back then, if you guys don't know, Paralysis used to be 0.25 times the speed instead of half the speed. And this guy's back to taking forever, so I'm going to find another 1v1 battle and see if we can get this team's second victory. I consider it a victory if we double down to Boom, by the way. I would claim victory even if it didn't say I won. That's what I think I'm going to... Okay, no, I'm not going to win this battle. I'm just going to boom. And I think he's going to survive. It was in a char Y. Whatever. I'm going to go into Kamala. And now I just got to go... I can go into Girafferig and I can try and get a sub here, actually. Yeah, that Gyarados is going to survive this with a plum. Let's try and get another 1v1 win, see if we can get the seams number 2 before we shift to the other team. Because this is the, the king of taking forever to make his turns now. Okay, so we got another guy just loses to Landorus, unless the Lopinese Ice Punch, which it probably does. That could win if he leads that. Let's get some chip on Incineroar. I guess you could call that chip. He'd be playing fast and loose with the term, but... Oh, he led Golem for no apparent reason, so I gotta Earth Power it. He's Rock Polish. Does he have the Ice Punch? Let's see. We'll see if he has the Ice Punch tech. He has the Crit tech. That wouldn't have KO'd 100%, but he got the Crit tech. Well, that's Mons. I'm gonna try and get Blues. Actually, why don't I leave Mar Kamala? Let's get Kamala in here. I could probably beat him with all three of my Pokemon, but Kamala makes it a little bit interesting. Yeah, I wanted to knock his club off, but apparently, no, we lose this. <laughs> he left, we're gonna claim victory. I had to had to make it interesting. The other two mons had just been able to one-shot it. No, no problem, no question. But what fun is that? Am I right? Okay, so Coco doesn't even score the KO on that, but we are physically defensive, so we wall it. Goes down to Charizard. This guy's gone. I'm going to find another 1v1 battle because I don't really count that as a win. Okay, so it's a good matchup again for Landorus. This Landorus set works in 1v1. I'm just going to keep clicking Thunderbolt. We'll see what he wants to lock into. 
Oh, it's in a flash cannon. I wall this now, so. That's good. Not sure why I didn't go for a fire move, but we take those. This guy's still not picking his mod. I'm gonna roost up one more time before I just thunderbolt this shit. I, th I think I know what I have to do. I think I know what I... No, never mind. He is our Viper Beam. Ugh, I'm eventually going to win game two with this team. I should have just bl led Blacephalon against the team with uh, the Marowak. But, you know, we can't do things too boring here. I'll be damned if I'm going to let Subscriber Live become boring. That's the day I die. The day of Specscriber Saturday lives are boring is the day I throw myself off a bridge. So I think my play here is obvious. I just gotta leap the stuff on and trick this stupid Magnemite. You've been pranked by the tricky trickster. <laughs> and he is out the building. Hey. He didn't even grab his belongings. He just took off running out the building. Thanks for giving me your Charizard. I want to throw off a Toxic on Talonflame, and that's to make sure that he can never have Gale Wings. To make sure that I'm the safest win condition with Halucha. It's just the safest possible play, making sure that he never has Gale Wings. Sky Strike does not touch us even slightly. So now I'm just going to click Roost. Yeah, we're taking Flare Blitzes unless we get <laughs> Whatever, we'll just stall out his son. Coco just working this guy. He just... Catching Coco's hands. I'm gonna add Toxic off on this too. Not for strategic reasons, I'm just being Toxic out here. Shout out to its gator. Just being Toxic on the left. Alright. So, I, I lost my electric train because <laughs> I was just fucking around, I guess. <laughs> it was not the strategic play, but alas, we should still be good because we got the uh, Quagsire, which is going to survive any hit from this Talon Flame. Let's throw off the high jump kick. Yeah, we're going to take the dub there. Now let's switch to the, the other 1v1 team until we win two games with a team that has Giraffe Rig. And for this, uh, I have to change the Halucha set. Focus Ash isn't allowed in 1v1, and Electric Seeds doesn't work, so I went with the Power Herb variant. And in this matchup, uh, I think I just lose to Mimikyu, frankly. I'm probably just going to lose to that Mimikyu. I'm going to lead Halucha because it can beat the other two, and if he leads Mimikyu, I wasn't going to win anyway, so that's what I'm going to do. And it, when he leads Mimikyu, which he should, I'm just going to click X. Yeah, X. Nothing I could do there. There was just nothing I could do. I had to pick the Mon that was best in case he didn't lead off with that, but he had no reason not to. You see the clef here? Just going right for a sky attack. We're probably going to lose this too. Just for calm mine, we'll see if it's in high jump kick range, which it should be if we land it. Unless it's a roll. But we should be Gucci here. Might as well start looking for win number two. That stupid pink thing remains busted. <laughs> and I guess everyone only has one mon here, except for us. I guess people don't know the rules of it, or they're really confident in their one mon. 
<laughs> yeah, we're, we're gonna attack you, bro. I guess the Rai gives nothing for Quagsire, so... <laughs> I'm not gonna... A GG, bro. Alright, so that's two wins with both teams. Time to move on to doubles, right? Doubles or battle spot? Let's go doubles first. And this is our doubles team. So he's got what looks like a standard singles OU team, so... This should be a winnable matchup, especially with uh, frickin' Coco Lucha. I'm just gonna leak Coco Lucha. I'm gonna go for a Thunderbolt on the Weavile, and I'm gonna Sword Stance with my Alucha, or I should Drain Punch the Weavile. I'm gonna Drain Punch the Weavile, because after Weavile goes down, I should be able to set up with Lucha. And then I'm a Thunderbolt the Terrakion, because what else is Coco doing? Oh yeah, you did not play that right, my friend. Now I can just switch this here, or I can even just Thunderbolt. Hmm. Yeah, I can Thunderbolt the Weavile, and then I can go for a high jump kick on the Frothorn. I have nothing to deal with Frothorn on this team, so I just need to get damage off on it. And he keeps predicting us wrong, which is fantastic. Alright, now I can Thunderbolt the Weavile and just Drain Punch the Frothorn. Because I'm pretty sure Thunderbolt won't take out the, f the Frothorn. This duo is busted, by the way. Coco Lucha, in case you guys didn't know, busted. And I can just drain punch the Chansey and get a million health back and Thunderbolt the Gengar. He, I guess he's predicting the high jump kick, but I was, I'm never going for that move if there's a chance of Gengar coming into that slot. It's for double protect, but he gains nothing except for stalling out a little bit of our terrain. I'm just going to make the same play I made. Actually, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to just take out that Gengar. I'm not as concerned about the Chansey. I didn't even know that Mega Gengar was allowed in doubles OU. That's how little I play doubles. We can't switch out, but I guess we probably don't want to anyway. It seems really weakened. I should be able to do a ton with Landers if I can just get that chance he weakened. Goes for Sludge Bomb and takes out that. Chance he goes for Wish. Quagsire is pretty good right now. I can go for a power-up punch on the Chansey slot, and then I can go for an Acrobatics on the Gengar slot. I just want to get rid of that Gengar. It's for double protect, good for him. I'm just going to make the exact same play, because why wouldn't I? I don't have a reason not to do either of those plays, I think. This team is super Lucha weak. I don't know if Lucha is common in doubles, but with the seeds, you'd have to think it would be. Frothorn goes down, and I get weakened, but I have Chansey as an unlimited source of HP, so... Oh my gosh, never mind. It's a set with no defensive investment, so I'm not going to be able to... I'm not going to be able to drain punch it with my Lucha. Um... Weavile's probably going to click Ice Shard. I would know it's going to fake out into this slot, so I'm going to do this. Or no, not Quagsire. Quagsire's going to power up Punch the Weavile, and then Holuch is going to go hard into the Kamala. 
Paulucci can still do something, so, yeah. We are just outplaying this guy, and we have no clue what doubles is or how it works, and we've outplayed this guy pretty good. I'm not sure if he plays doubles on the regular, but if he is, then he's not going to be able to show his face around his doubles friends after this. I can just uh, power up punch the Greninja, and then Kamala can safely go for a wish. Matt Block, I don't know if that does anything. Okay. I'm just gonna waterfall the Chansey and then knock off the Greninja. Casey tries to pass that wish, which, I mean, it's weakened, but it has no defense investment, so it's just a piece of garbage anyway that offers him no value. I don't even know what map block does. Let's figure it out. Oh, it's only the first turn, okay. So, I should just... Do this then. Yeah, that ice beam. Are you kidding me? We outplay the shit out of this guy and then he just freezes us? Well, that's super annoying. That might have just stole our free win away. Sort of Hydro Vortex on Kamala after he froze our Quagsire. I'm just going to protect with Kamala here, I think. No, I'm just going to power punch the Ninja and then I'm going to knock off and take out that stupid Chansey. Oh, geez, finally it wakes up. I'm going to do this. I'm going to go into the Landris, and then I'm going to go hard in the Drafric to bait out his water move. While I knock out this Greninja, I'm going to try and bait out the water move on the Landris. I can't let Landris get weakened at all. Yeah, we, we stay out playing this guy. This has got to be... This has got to be embarrassing for him, I think. I kind of like doubles. I'd never really get into it, but it's kind of fun playing on the low ladder as someone who who has no experience in it. Now, I'm just going to make sure I take out that Tracheon. I'm not playing games. That's his only real threat to us, so I'm going to make sure I take that thing out by all means. for Rock Slide, and that does manage to take out the draft, but flinched us. Man stays hexing. Okay, whatever. Um, I'm going to waterfall the Tracheon slot, and then I'm going to drain punch also the Tracheon slot. I was going to drain punch the Chansey, but if it protects, then Lucha's in bad shape. Okay, now he goes for double protect. That means I can now safely drain punch the Chansey with my Lucha. Yeah, and <laughs> we outplay him again. That is just bad for this man. I love it. I love how badly this guy got outplayed because I never play doubles, ever. I don't know the first thing about it. I didn't even know what map block is. And I definitely don't know how he outsped. Oh, because it's Adamant Lucha, right? GG. I think that's a perfect note to leave doubles OU on. Normally I do more games, but that was kind of perfect. So I'm going to move on to battle spot singles.
and then after that there's going to be Ubers and that will be the live. Okay, so it's an interesting looking team. Super Landers weak. And I also like Quagsire. Hmm. Yeah, that should be the team. Coco's very good against him. Very, very good against him. It's the best Pokemon I have for him. And Lanterns is pretty damn good itself. Well, that's the worst possible lead there could have been in this game. Um, I guess I gotta go hard in a Quagsire then. I go for a power up punch. Uh, I'm assuming it's Solar Beam, but. What can I do about that, really? And I don't even know if that chaos us. It does, so. Unfortingtons, I guess. And I just go for an Earth Power. Okay, wow. I have the Thunderbolt here, but we're probably not going to survive it, so. On to the next one. Let's see what we get next. Hopefully the next game goes better than that one. In case you can't tell, I did not much enjoy that. Coco Lucha is pretty good against this guy. Uh, I think I want to lead Blacephalon and then have good old Coco Lucha. Here comes the boom! Well, now we know he's uh, Gyarados in the back. And we see it, so. He has no electric resist, and his ditto would not beat our Coco, so that's a good game, my friend. No Gyarados is going to knock out our physically defensive Coco, so. Yeah, we avoid the flinch. <laughs> I was not going to be a happy camper if that was successful. We do see the ditto, that's GG. He does not have enough PP to win this. Yep, we wall those. I should just roost, but I'm going to go for a Toxic, because I'm just being Toxic on the ladder. <laughs> That's the thing to do, isn't it? GG! Let's find another one. Maybe one or two more. Or just until our next win. Depending. I got my chihuahua right here. Hey, little buddy. A little chihuahua is awesome. He does fist bumps and high fives and shit on command. Really cool dog. Love him. You never really see a chihuahua that doesn't bark or bite and actually does tricks, but he's a special one. So good game for uh, Quagsire, and I like uh, good old Coco Lucha. Hey Shadow! <laughs> He's trying to get some sleep, I think, but I gotta bug him. If he didn't want me to bug him, he won't look hilarious. Now he's jumping off the bed, presumably, to get some peace. Might as well power up punch. He'll probably get up a hazard here. Yeah, he gets up rock, so I'm going to put this in range with Earthquake. If he's Mimikyu, we probably lost. That's just pretty much the truth of it. I'm going to start finding an Ubers game, I think. Just keep it up. Keep going on a quick pace. 
Not all this waiting on turns and stuff. Okay, so he knocks us out. I think I have to go in a Coco here. Let's see if he's got the Leech Snake. So this guy is, finds a battle and then instantly leaves. I'm just going to leak off with Kamala in case he does come back. It's a leech seed. It's my cue to go hard in the Hawlooch, I think. Catch this high jump kick, my friend. Catch us. If he's Mimic you, we lost pretty much. Yeah, there we go. Okay, let's see Umbreon. Not... GG. Ah, oh boy. Mimic you, freaking ruining the slide. Uh. Oh. I'm just gonna hate it forever. You know, hate it forever and move on. That's just how it's gotta be sometimes. You gotta take him on the chin and then hate him forever. I will never catch another Mimikyu, ever. Mimikyu is my mortal enemy. Isn't an Necrozma, but... Wow, that is a bulky motherfucker. But yeah, he's got a standard as Uber team, so we probably don't have a shot here. I'm gonna go into Kamala and try and see if I can set up on this. If I do have a shot, it comes from Kamala, but with Kyogre, I don't, so. That's probably that's how it is here. Probably finna cop an L here. This is put on the timer because I'm not exactly Captain Patience. So this thing's gonna come in and it's gonna set up and it's gonna win. I'm gonna knock it off in case it's Scarf. But, oh wow. That's Specs. I don't see that every day. It's definitely not what this thing runs. It's either Geomancy or Scarf. Sometimes they run this, it's just very uncommon. It's like a surprise set. This game's already lost. We might as well start trying to find the next one. Really, we don't have a snowball's chance in this one unless maybe Ha somehow does something. We keep finding standard Uber teams, which kind of dooms us. I gotta get like two more protects. I'm just gonna keep clicking it because what else am I gonna do? Yeah, this one's over. <laughs> There's just no winning this game. Yeah, no one to hold them, no one to fold them. I'm gonna go for a focus blast here. And as he decides to leave his Dialga in while he has a uh hoe, -oh, okay. I mean, good for you. <laughs> I'm just gonna go for a Shadow Claw here. He has absolutely no switch in on this. So. That's probably the one chance we have, him not having a switch in on this and this thing doing something. I have eight notifications on Discord that have come up during this. But I'm not going to check them until I finish this. And my OCPD, which is basically like OCD, but it's a step under, is kind of going nuts a little bit. But I'm just going to wait until after. Assume it's not an emergency, no one's died. So, Palky is just gonna get walled by this. Uh, actually, maybe the horse bear will wall. I'm just gonna wish up and check the damage. They don't normally run horse bear, normally they got surf and dragon move. They don't normally crit me. <laughs> oh boy. Yeah, that's not what we need in this matchup. We did not need hacks on top of this matchup.
Oh boy. Oh well. I'm I'm gonna wait. <laughs> Ideally, find an Uber's game where we don't completely embarrass ourselves before we end this. I wonder if Hall waltz this. If it doesn't, I sacked your average for nothing. But I don't really think it did. He's stretching out a bit. He, he just went hard ho on a Tapu Coco. He just went hard ho on a Tapu Coco. That just happened. And he's faster. Hollows don't usually run much speed in here, but... Well, he's going to go Earthquake again, so I only have one play here. I have to... He's have... He could be Choice. I have to hope he's Choice and go for my win con here. I think him being Choice is my only chance in winning this game, and then Deoxys being Life Orb instead of the uh, old Focus Sash set. And that's assuming Mewtwo drops his acrobatics. Which it should. It should, but I never underestimate the bulk of these things. And Omega evolves to make it easier for us, so thank you, my friend. That uh, definitely helped us out. <laughs> Not sure exactly what he's doing here, but Halucha have been putting in the work in this live. Alucha has definitely been giving people the hands. Even if this is Sash Deoxys and it kills us, but come on. Miss Psycho Boost. Miss. He's not Sash. Why'd he go out into it then? <laughs> well, well. I think, I think if Alucha ends up taking this, that'd be a pretty good note to end on, frankly. Sweeping an Uber's team with Halucha. That boy putting in a ton of work. I appreciate you guys submitting Coco Lucha so I don't get completely embarrassed in these battles. And I can actually have a fighting chance. Coco Lucha remains unbeatable. It's pressure. Oh. That's... No, it can't be that norm. It can't be the normalium set because that has to be shiny, doesn't it? It must have just been an accident, I guess. And <laughs> Aw oh, just continues to claim lives, so that's gonna be it for the live, guys. Remember, if there is any Pokemon you want to see in the next live, just comment down below. And if you're a subscriber, I'll use your set. Just tell me a Pokemon you want to see, anything in particular you want to see on its set. And any special nickname you want me to give it. And anything you guys submit, I'll use. Even if it's a giraffe or egg. Don't, don't make it a giraffe or egg. Do not make it a giraffe or egg. Thank you guys for watching. And also I should give a thank you to the guys who submitted stats, sets. I got sets from Stu, from Stan, from Soap, from Mike, from... Manny from Jonathan and uh, what's this Pokemon that's not on this team? Landorus from uh, good old Blag, who is in fact a turd mouth, I should add. And as I was saying, thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for submitting sets. Have yourselves a good night.